Part 2. Aunt Jolie's Heart Snack. She knew that she should have warned Jenny and Jarvis about this call, but had forgotten to tell them. Jolie took a deep breath and replied, they're not here right now. Their mum said it's your responsibility to keep them safe. I have been trying to call them, but no one was picking up the phone. Are they even with you? Just tell her not to worry and you will give her a call back. Yay, Jolie said. They are across the road and when they get back I will tell them to call you. I need to give them a call ASAP. You should however in my opinion it's best to tell her the truth. We should be then within 5 minutes. I'm so excited. As the train pulled into the station, Jarvis and Jenny were already on their feet, ready to go. After a few minutes of searching, they found their way to the concert venue. Breaking news Christopher Maloney and Richard Belzer, who are the two members of JKF would be performing at the Zero Two Stadium today. Jason who was their brother turned on the TV and then realized that there was a JFK concert happening an hour away from Auntie Jolie house. I have a feeling that they are at the JFK concert even since last week Jarvis has been acting very weird. Son is everything alright? I have spoken to your auntie on the phone, she said that they are at a park across the street. But she did say she would tell them to call me. It's best to call then again Jarvis has been acting weird. Ever since last week, I also heard that there is a JFK concert happening today which is an hour from Andy Jolie house. I heard something like that, on the news today. I think it's best that I drive to your auntie house, they better be there. If not, then you know where they are. I'm just wondering if mum is getting suspicious. Probably not yet let's enjoy ourselves first anyway she would call us back. But we got a missed call from mum. I had no idea. Come on now we are nearly at the concert. Let's just have some fun. This was my idea so don't worry. You're ready. Of course. They both begin to sing Wim's Get Stitch. OMG. This is so amazing. My dream man on the stage. Hey Harbis. My man is there too. Jenny and Jarvis, both still high on the thrill of the JFK concert. The crowd was thinning out, and they were making their way to the canteen. Jolie called. Jenny picked the phone up. Hello Auntie is everything alright? No. I spoke to your mom she wanted to talk to you guys both but I told her that you guys were at the park across the road. Is everything alright? No, mom called auntie asking if she could speak to us. Then. Then she told her that we were at the park across the road. Guys it's best that when you get back we tell your mom everything in general I shouldn't have let you go. Girls you need to hop on the train and I will pick you up from the train station. Mom is going to be so mad. I know but at least we got to go to a JFK concert. Why get mad when you were so excited? Mom and Jason made it in front of Auntie Jolie house. Mom I can see Jolie. What? Hey. Where are my daughters? Well. Well what? Jenny and Jarvis went to a JFK concert and I agreed to drop them off the train station without telling you. You know that they both need to be at least 18 years old plus the worst part is when I asked you to put my daughters on the phone, you said that they are at a park across the road, making me believe that you should know better that their safety comes first. I'm sorry. You saying sorry is nothing to me. Where are my daughters? When they get back I want their side of the story. I spoke to them they were on the train coming back I said I would pick them up from the train station. Why so was you ever going to tell me? Yes me. Jenny and Jarvis were going to tell you when they get back. I'm really sorry. You don't understand what if something happened to them, it would be all your fault. Well I told you Jenny and Jarvis went to a JFK concert. 
Jenny and Jarvis made it to the train station. They decided to wait for Auntie Jolie at the bus stop them gave her a call. You better tell mum everything. I will. They call Jolie. Who calling? Your daughters. Put them on the phone. Jolie said you have guys made it to the train station. Jarvis said yes we have we are just waiting for you at the bus stop instead. Their mum said girls I will be waiting for you I'm so disappointed in you both. When you pick them up meet me at the Warburton Kafir. Jolie drives to the bus stop which took around 30 minutes. You all right? No. Jolie made it. Jenny and Jarvis gets in the car. They were on their way to meet their mom. I have told your mom everything. I had no idea she would come and visit. And, she was so mad, but she told me was right. I should have told her from the start the true. But how was the concert? It was amazing. Me and Jenny had so much fun. Plus we got to see our future husbands. Lol. Mum you all right? Yes son, it's best that you go to your father company and help him out. I don't want you to be involved with your sister's mess. Do I have to go? Yes, I want you to understand how everything works. Does dad know about how Jenny and Jarvis went to a concert? No, I haven't told them. It's best that I talk to both of them including Auntie Jolly. You know if your father find out that Jolly was involved, he would be so mad. It's best for him to know. Don't worry I will tell him when he gets back from work. Okay then, I will be going to see dad at the company. Be safe. I will. Bye. Jason goes to see his dad at work. Hello son. You're back. Mum made me. Good. We are here. Listen both of you need to tell your mum everything. I have already told her. She want your side of the story. Mom is here. Where have you been? I will tell you everything. For the beginning I had their way going to be a JFK concert happening at the O2 Stadium. I planned everything. I even asked Jolie if she would be able to drop me and Jenny off at the train station. Why did you not ask me? Because I knew you would have said no. That's correct. But as your mother, it's important for me to know where my kids are at. I really cared about both of your safety. The worst is that your auntie lied to me. That's why you ask if you could go this jolly. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. Well you know I have to tell your father. Just next time tell me. They got home so did Jason and dad. Hey sweetie, how was everything at work with Jason? Everything was great plus he really enjoyed himself. That's great I got something to tell you. What is it? Well today Jenny and Jarvis went to a JFK concert without telling me. Jolly was the one who dropped them off at the train station. And then when I call her to put them on the phone. She said that they are at a park across the street. She made me believe her. Have you spoken to Jolie? Yes, I was so mad. As fear auntie she shouldn't have lied like that. But in the end, she told me everything. Even Jarvis said that she's sorry for everything. At least they learned a lesson. Well 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 look who 